Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of GenAI Vlog. Today, we're going to do a full tutorial of how to use the previously released library Hugify data to fine-tune your own large language model. So with that being said, let's turn our attention to the code. So here we have a Google Colab. First thing I want to check is to connect it with a GPU. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use T4 GPU as an example. First things first is I want to install a library. Once you finish installing, it might ask you to restart a session. So we'll do that. And once it's restarted with a new session and you are all set. Next thing to do is to load up a data set and it will ask you for hugging face token. We'll say grant access. The name of the data is called story seed. You can go onto the hugging face website and here you go. This is what the data look like. There's a prompt and there's a response. The prompt is some sort of instruction for example, please help me create a picture book with the theme of a curious kitten, things like that. And then there's a response. Response could say, hey, there's a hashtag title, and that's the title of the book. And then maybe there's a page one, there's a text, page two, illustration, so on and so forth. So once we load this DS in here in the Python environment, we can check that out. As you see, this is a data set dictionary object. What that means is the information in here behaves like a dictionary. There's a train. Instead of the train, their prompt and response. So we can use this line of code to extract the first sample of the prompt. And that's what we just saw on the Hugging Face website. We can do the same thing by running this code to check out the response that corresponds to the prompt for the first sample. And here is the response. Since we want to train a large language model using text generation strategy, the format of the data need to look like the following. You have three hashtag human, and then that's where the command come from. And I'm following with three hashtag assistant. And then that's what the response coming from. And this need to be one sample in one big string. So I'll import the TQDM to give me the progress bar. And then I'll use this following for loop to just load up a hundred example. And then to put them together in question, answer, and combine them in a text so that I can prep the data in this hashtag human assistant type of formality. Now the data is ready. Let's run pandas to visualize what that look like. Use this line of code to create a panda data frame. You can then take a look what the data look like. We have question answer, that's the original data. And then we combine them together in three hashtag human, the system kind of formality. With that being said, now let's save it locally just as a backup copy. Once you run that code, you see that on the directory on the left-hand side, you'll be able to have this data.csv file as a backup. Now we can use the Hugify data push modules to import this data frame uploader to then push this data onto the Hugging Face Cloud. So we're going to give a new name, StoryC v3. And then the username is whatever username that I registered. One last thing to do is to use Google Colab user data to allow me to access the secrets so that I can acquire the Hugging Face token. I run this chunk of code. It will be able to take the data from the CSV and push it onto the Hugging Face Cloud. Now, once that's done, we can go to the website and follow this directory to examine that data is there. Here on our data sets, this is a new file that says it's just been updated less than a minute ago. We can click in that. Here we go. You will be able to see questions, answers, and then the text that's being just, and then this text column, which is the third column that's just been created, it follows the required format for the text generation strategy. Now let's go to Hugify data to load up the training modules and to fine tune our own large language model. So there's a base model name that is a Llama2 model. And then I need to update this data set name to whatever data that I want. Since this data is called story cv3, I'm going to grab that path and then put a path here as a data set name. And then I need to give a new name for the model. So I'll call it story cv3 Llama2. This will create the required parameters for me to start fine tuning my own Llama2 model. And then let's time the tuning process. So the following code will be able to download the artifact from this Llama2 directory as a base model, and then start fine tuning a Llama model using trainer over this customized data set, story C. So for the sake of simplicity, let's run one epoch and let's see how it goes. You'll be able to see this kind of print statement from starting model loading to data set loading all the way to training. And since there's one epoch, we have one training loss. After that, we'll save the model and push the model to the cloud. And the entire time is about nine minutes. With that being said, now let's go to this directory 
and let's check out what it looked like. So under models, you see this model artifact that's just been updated one minute ago called story CB3 Llama 2. And that's precisely the name that we defined. So let's go in there, take a look at what it is. There are a couple of artifacts to show you how it's being trained and what the strategy is. And the artifact files are in here. You can, of course, use this model just like a hugging face model as desired. Now that this model is now that this model is fine-tuned using the customized data, and the model artifact also lives on the cloud, we are all set. The next step and the final step is to make an inference. So the trainer object from the Huggify data allow you to load the model and its tokenizer, follow a simple format. All you need is a path for the base model and a path for the new model as the one that we just trained. So the name is story C V3 Llama 2. I'm going to grab that name and I'm going to put it here. Now I can load in the model and the tokenizer. And if your session fails again, make sure you have high memory set up. So you go to runtime, click on change runtime type and click on high RAM. And after you select high memory setup, you might have to reinstall, restart a session. And now you can try again. So if you restart a session, you will effectively be starting from a clean slate which means you will have to redefine these parameters. So we start from here to redefine the trainer object. And since here, this trainer object will have a blank model, we will need to go on to the Hugging Face Cloud to grab the model artifact, which contains the fine-tuned parameters. We can then use the following code to load up the model artifact and the tokenizer. So you can use the following code to make an inference, but let me give a prompt that makes more sense from a data set perspective. Let's go back to the story C V3 example. Here we see that the text column that we used as a training data has the format of three hashtags human following with three hashtag assistant. So let's grab the first prompt all the way to three hashtag assistant and copy that. And let's put that here as a prompt. So effectively what it's doing is this large language model is going to read character by character in this prompt from three hashtag human all the way to in the end to three hashtag assistant. So whatever next word being generated in this inference process should be tuned to learn from the training data after the three hashtag assistant because you're guessing the next word. So let's run that and see what the output is. So here's the output. Let's go to the right and see what kind of answer do we have. Of course, Here's an outline for your picture book, title, whiskers in the woods, so on and so forth. Now this sentence is not finished because there's a max token size being set. Uh, you can of course relax this token size to a larger number, 100 token, 200 token, things like that. And that will give you a much longer answer. So with that being said, hopefully this video sheds some light of the step-by-step -step process of what needs to be done to fine tune your own large language model over a customized data and what are some roadblocks, what are some bugs that you may see along the process? Thank you for watching, subscribe and like.